<laughs> Greetings, survivors and friends. Shadow Franks here with your regular injection of rusty information where this week it shouldn't take very long. But first, make sure you're subbed, of course, to stay on the cutting edge of development news and tune into my channel over on Twitch. Why not? Talking of to which, the latest round of drops have now ended, but some more streamer specific ones are on the way, and we're just waiting to find out what that lineup will be. I'm sure the selection process was rigorous as usual. So, which longtime regular Rust creators would you like to rep in game? Let me know down below. In development news, this week saw some vital quality of life improvements over on the staging branch. There was a fixed the airdrop event just not happening, and another to stop you being able to place deployables such as lanterns, etc., on auto turrets, because that was just way too much fun. Bradley's line of sight saw some improvements to prevent him from shooting you through buildings, apparently, and the lock position on tool cupboards was tweaked slightly so that you can see a bit more of the completely non functional handle underneath. As well as this, wooden shop fronts are now going to be default blueprints and cost. 150 wood to craft. Praise be! What an update. All of the changes you never knew you needed. Yes, but pages still say slant instead of silent. Hey, quiet you. Be slant. Sorry. In works in progress, here's a picture of the subterranean Zerg transportation unit, or work cart as it's being referred to, which I missed out last week's vid because I was told I wasn't allowed to show it, but what do you think? Is it bigger than you expected? You definitely wouldn't be able to miss it, that's for sure, and it seems like quite a few of your friends could join you for the ride, although you wouldn't all be protected, of course. As mentioned previously, these will be running around the new Rust Metro, which is planned to link up all of the island's current tracks to nowhere and take them underground. Exciting times. Not sure yet when it'll be arriving, that's still subject to change, just like the British Rail Network, but I'll let you know as soon as I spot it. Over on the Happy's Rescue attempt, you're not going to recognise it when it's finally done, it seems. They received some new shots of progress this week, although they don't show a lot, and bear in mind these are from the editor, so there are no spawns. At that junction, though, top quality. The southern desert area is going to get a huge overhaul, apparently, but probably as a separate phase. And hopefully, I'm told, if all goes according to plan, you'll be able to test out the first batch of changes sometime in February. The HDRP backport's getting a lot of attention from the team right now, with many of the island's static vehicles receiving a refresh along with junk piles and clutter. No new visuals on any of these yet, though, sadly. And Rust has an ESRB rating, which of course is a precursor to the console release, although there's still no date yet. But it is inching ever closer, and one of these days it will jump out of a bush and surprise us all, I'm sure. Let me know in the comments what you think of this week's batch of changes. Leave a like if you'd be so good. Join me on Twitter, Facebook, Discord, and my Steam group to stay up to date with my content, and I shall catch you all soon. But in the meantime, keep calm and stay rusty. Cheerio. This video is powered by AWDIT's producer range of workstation PCs, available now at awdit.co.uk. Hey, quiet you. Be slant. Sorry.